Today's project is another rustic little project that we're going to do. So here is the piece of wood we're going to use today. It's from a pallet and I a long time ago sawed it off so I kept the nails in it because I think the nails just kind of add a little something something to it. So what I've already done to it now is I've just took my sander and I have literally just uh, very lightly went around the edges and just over the top probably about three or four times. So it's still got a, a roughness to it, but it's not going to create splinters or anything. So it's pretty nice. So yeah, we're going to we're gonna put some words down on it and stenciling today, uh, maybe burn it a little bit. Um, not sure what I'm going to put on it yet though, but, uh, obviously you'll find out soon. So, uh, stick with us. All right. Now what I'm going to do is, uh, use this brush. You can see how thin it is. That is like, uh, very nice for, uh, just lightly brushing across in a white pattern. Uh, we're going to use some, uh, matte black and... I'm going to use my sander to hold down so I can actually press down in some of the other spots. This is the stencil we're going to use. And uh, we're going to put a cross on it in a couple of words. So we're going to make this one like a faith-based type um, rustic piece. So uh, yeah, let's get to it. See how it turns out. Alright, so I'm going to take some of this black and just pour it in this little, a little cup I got. And then put a little bit on the brush and I'm just gonna kind of test an area real quick just uh, cuz I don't want to go in thick but yet yeah, I want to grab some and just kind of brush it in there You can brush it from different directions. It doesn't make a deal, make a difference on it. I'm even trying to get a couple of darker spots. Just to uh, kind of keep a little different pattern to it. You know, just uh, everybody's own preference, how they want to paint. You can totally fill it in and make it dark. Or you can just do it like that. I'm going to stick with that because I think it's kind of cool already. Obviously, we won't know until we take the stencil off. But that's what we come up with. And I really like that, the way it looks. So I am going to stick with that. So, all right, we're gonna put a color, couple of letters down on there, and uh, not letters, a couple of words uh, going across the rest of the piece. I'm gonna kind of probably stagger them out, and uh, that's what we'll get. So, so far, there's the beginning of it. Yay! 
All right, I got the faith part down. I got a couple of blotches on there, which to, you know, try to watch out for, I guess. But that's what we look like so far. All right, we're gonna continue on. Whoops, if the phone stand don't fall. All right. So let's, uh, and I got a little, a little bit of paint brushed off the edge of the thing. So we'll just sand it off. No big deal. And then we're going to move the clamp here so we can get another position on the wood and do the next word. So that's there. All right. Let's brush the next word on. Next word we're going to do is hope. And we're going to, I'm going to kind of stagger them down at an angle. Uh, can you guys even see that? All right, we'll get you up like that. There we go. So yeah, I'm going to kind of stagger them down at an angle just to kind of use up the wood. So we're going to put the next one right about the, well, no, yeah, right about there. And then we'll go ahead and brush it on. Just remember not to put a, don't go onto the stencil with a whole lot of paint on your brush. I'm brushing it onto my uh, stand here and then making it light on the brush. As you can see, I'm not having a whole glob just sitting down here at the bottom so it goes totally dark on there. So, all right, let's brush this part on. It'd almost be nice if these stencils were apart, but whatever. Oops, don't move. I could just keep from moving, that would be great. All right. And then there's that one. Of course, I got a little bit of paint, you know, smeared off there, came off the edge of the stencil. So we'll just take the sandpaper. <sighs> and I don't got to get rid of it all the way because we are going to burn this with a propane torch. So now that I've got them kind of sloping down, I'm going to take the last word and just kind of uh, loop it back up a little bit. Probably about right there. 
let's do this one. Totally sorry if my hand is blocking you guys here. This one's going to be a little bit darker in some spots. And I got a couple of smudges. So we'll just go ahead and clean those up real quick with the sandpaper. Get those off of there. don't look bad now because it almost looks like it's a part of the wood somehow that one's gone or if you can see a couple little spots on it I'm not worried about it because once we burn this now we're gonna it'll just change the whole trajectory of uh, the way it looks so all right so this is what we're looking at so far I like it I think that looks great so we're gonna unclamp it We'll put the clamp to the side here for a second. And uh, we'll move the stencil out of the way. We don't wanna, well, I need somewhere, here, we'll just put it over here. Some extra supplies that I bought over the weekend. Got ideas flowing through the head. And uh, let's get rid of the paint real quick. We don't need that around, I gotta rinse that brush out. And I'm going to get the propane torch and we're going to put a light burn on it. All right, now we're back getting ready to take the uh, propane torch. And we're going to burn it just lightly. And you can choose your own burn method. If you want to burn, you can go dark, you can go light. You just gotta be conscious of what you've already done. Now this is the first time I've burned over the paint. I've never done that before. So I wasn't sure how that was going to turn out. But so far, the way it looks, I like it. And you can see that it burns the grain first. If I would hold it on there a little bit longer, it would start burning between the grain. Starting to look really good. I almost think I'm going to leave it at that. So 
so there we are and then uh, of course I'll actually I should have left the propane torch running here I want to burn the edges so bring it down to the side like this and I like these edges to be a little dark because it kind of gives it a border Oh, I knew it was going to go out on me. It's getting low here. Yep. She's a running low. Oh, we'll get the edges burnt and then I'm going to call it a finished deal. That way it kind of just kind of just makes the border for me. Beautiful. I like that. All right. Let's get this tip back up so you can see it. There. Yeah, see how it kind of put a little border on it with the dark edge? So, that is where we're at. So, I guess if you want, I know now for next time, I guess I'm going to have to make the letters just a little bit darker. If you want to burn over the letters then, because I guess this is a little bit light right here and maybe a little bit on the H, but I still think it looks great. And there we go. I am actually going to put this up for sale. So yeah, this is what we've got and this is what I'm gonna start doing. Just making a whole bunch of different things and uh, you know, make a little side income off of this. So all right, um, this is Relic and Coin Chaser doing his Rustic Pieces thing, Rustic Creations. Uh, you can find it on Facebook, Rustic Creations. And uh, I'll be posting this video to my Facebook and to the YouTube channel also. So, all right, guys. Have a great day.